Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today. Weak CME impact to Earth. Gorgeous plasma eruption on the sun. Nonsense from the Weather Channel. Eye candy from the closest stellar nursery. And a good paper on the outer space surrounding our solar system. We had several M-class flares over the last day, but none of them were major. CMEs left the limbs quite regularly, but it doesn't look like they're aimed at Earth. We did get the previously expected CME impact, and as expected, it was a very minor event. The solar wind shows the telemetry jump yesterday, with minor but simultaneous amplification of plasma pressure, the signature of a CME impact, and we also saw a brief rise of the KP index, but only up to level 4, below what is considered a geomagnetic storm. The top event on the sun yesterday wasn't even one of the M-class solar flares. South, near the center, a C-class flare triggered the release of a dark plasma eruption that took forever to clear the coronal region, but did so after appearing to completely move to the right away from Earth's direction. It was a gorgeous event there. I want to come next to a shellbait article from the Weather Channel yesterday, claiming that heat, which kills about 150 people a year, is the number one weather-related killer more than lightning, tornadoes, or flooding. Problem is, it is estimated that icy roads alone kill more than 10 times as many, and that doesn't even begin to touch the heart attacks of people shoveling snow, blood pressure-related changes due to cold snaps, etc. Of course, telling that part of the story wouldn't fit the climate narrative, so we get what we get in the public eye. Speaking of eyes, lay yours on this. The nearest stellar nursery, fantastic shapes as the gas and dust create an incredible sight to see, the link to the full-size image is found below the video in today's link list, along with our top story. The very local interstellar medium, the region of outer space surrounding our solar system, continued surprising astronomers. The characteristics of the interaction exceed uncertainties and appears closely tied to the magnetic fields interacting with our solar system magnetic field. This is important because that's exactly what we've been talking about, the galactic magnetism interacting with our solar system, and since these astronomers don't have the current sheet in their toolbox, it's surely no surprise that the details fall outside their expectations. Folks, the next episode of Observer Review will come out within the next 24 hours. Best slate of articles so far. It's the best way to support the observers and the best way to stay caught up with the volume of science we cover every month. Link is below in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out links below the video and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.